All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We are taking out the T3485E. This is one of those things that when people were data mining for uh, new additions in patch 1.49 prior to it being named 1.70 in honor of the 70th anniversary of the victory in World War II, that when it said T3485E, I was just like, this is kind of crazy. I was expecting like... Uh, T-3485, which is an extremely great tank. Okay. Thank you. Look at that. We're all nice. Oh, sorry. I wasn't very nice. How's it going, actually? Yeah. Look at that, man. Passing on the right. How? I guess it's just the English and uh, the former colonies. Is that true? That drive mostly on the left? I think most, most Europeans, I believe, drive on the right side. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I don't know. Never been to Europe. But I am going to Europe soon. Uh, let's drop some artillery right on that. Whoa, what you doing there, big guy? But, um, yeah, I was I was afraid that we were going to have a T-34-85 with spaced armor. Because usually when you add E to the end of a Russian tank name, it indicates the spaced armor where E, I think, is indicative of, you know, how you say spaced armor in Russian. Could be wrong once again. Tat 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 tat. Tat 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 tat. Oh man, I was thinking we might chop down the uh, the old cherry tree there. That's not a cherry tree, bro. I ain't no arbalist. Arbalist. Arbalist, I believe, is the guys that fire the old guns called arbals. <laughs> Sounds funny. I just know that from Age of Empires 2. Anyway, so we're pulling up to the combat zone. Yeah, but. This thing's only got these distinctive little 5mm kind of like mesh screens that look like they're pretty good at um, countering, you know, the, what would you call it? The Panzerfaust and Panzerschrecks, like shaped chargers and stuff like that. Can we see anything? Ooh, shots fired. A little ninja sniper over there. So we've got a pretty good spot. There's someone sniping back there. We are in realistic battles. Look at that. I love that little insignia. It's so cool looking. So if anyone comes down here, they're going to get wrecked. But that's not the spawn point. Oh, here we go. T-3045 taking the lead. Hit a rock, so my gun depression herpa derps. What do you guys see? I don't see anything. Shots fired. Okay, it looks like he might be right behind those teeth. Maybe. Oh, shit. I think someone that I think I just took a Hellcat shell and my teammate just knocked him out as we're kind of playing the more aggressive charger but you know what everyone's got their roles on the team mine oh oh my he's dead is he no he's not wow see that's why you double check guys because you never know when you're gonna get ambush on a Hellcat. But, um. Woo! Actually, we could call artillery in there. It's kind of difficult. I'm gonna just call it in there and hope that's kind of the general vicinity. But see, I like to kind of play as a team, like, kind of take cues. If my teammate's pushing. Oh, here we go. Another Hellcat. Critical hit on him. Oh, it just kind of deflected. Enemy kill assist will take it. T-3485 did his job. We're rolling through here. We got a T-3457. This is pretty, pretty fun, man. I was kind of... I love how there's slow, um, methodical changes to the maps as you go. Alright, we're gonna... Ooh, what is that? Looks like Sherman 76 up there. I don't know if he sees me yet. Or if he got hit. Why did I just do that? I literally just derped. Okay, he's dead. That was really weird. I've never derped that. I mean, I've derped, but I've never done that kind of derp before. That's crazy. But you see how the Hellcats just moved up here with their speed and their pace. And they just took this hill that had a pretty good... Uh, look over like where we were going to be streaming in. Luckily, we pushed them out through some team play right there. Had some 
good people covering me. Check both ways. The map is completely different um, from what I, I haven't played this one in a while, actually. So now it's what? Kind of this forest battle might emerge, but it looks like, judging by the minimap, there could be someone kind of entrenched in here, but I doubt it. People are learning how to counter the Hellcat, man. So we are going to head onwards down this path. Try to find the enemy, once again following a teammate. Safety in numbers, holy shit, I just saw that guy. Oh my gosh, and once again, SU-85 or T-34-85 took him out. I might need to... Shit! They're popping out everywhere. Oh. Oh, this could be bad. Unless I did enough damage, we might be knocked out. Whoo! Ladies and gents, it's kind of getting a little intense up here. 15 seconds on the repair. Oh, man. Talk about nerves, huh? We survived, though. Let's see, what got hit? Where do, Oh, it looks like we got hit right to the left of our machine gun. If that was a little more central, he may have taken us out. So our engine's repaired, up and running. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. And realistic, what's that shell that just hit? Is that an enemy over there? You never know. Sometimes someone fired, someone shot just kind of missed. The game is about over, though. But overall impressions of this tank... I mean, a T-34 is a tank I'm a big fan of. And a lot of historians are as well. Um, but, you know, how it performs within this game, not in getting to historical arguments or whatever. I like it. Um, really, the sloped armor and the rounding of Soviet turrets is just kind of like very, very good um, design, you know, in that kind of case. We did get penetrated, but um, didn't really knock us out. Did do some work, though. There's a lot of stuff in there <laughs> but man it's a fun tank so the t-34 is a great uh you know tank platform but the 85 millimeter gun is just brilliant i do do love it but yeah we'll go over the armor and do that and we'll, we'll hop into another game so it looks like our teammate was an ace so what two kills one assist and one really close call i do kind of like this fourth 40,000 silver lines. Alright. Yeah, so five kills. I wish I knew what he was. I could look in the replay and find out. But our team did pretty solidly. I think people are starting to figure out how to counter Hellcats and kind of to account for the fact that they're going to be in these positions that you wouldn't have expected any enemy vehicles in the past. But yeah, so this is, look, look at this. You've got right here, which looks like it'd be good for, like, maybe against grenades. Because uh, that's a, a nice little spot to drop an anti-tank grenade on in the back. I don't know how... I mean, it'd still go off, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, what the point... Just here and just there. Would they have bounced, I guess? Maybe there's more space, you know, physics and all that good stuff as far as, like, the explosive blast. Anyway, but that's purely speculative. Let's check out the armor. So from the front, nice 90 millimeters right here. Only 45 millimeters on the upper glacis. However, it's angled. We all know the angling, the fabled angling of the T-34. So that little machine gun's a nice weak spot. Wow, will you look at that? Effective thickness. How does how does it magnify so much? It's the it's more or less the same slope. Don't shoot there. That's a strong point. That's crazy. Oh, because it's seventy five millimeters, not forty five millimeters. Duh. But anyway, so this is the real new change. Honestly, is these five millimeter structural steel screens placed that I think are for Panzerfaust and Panzer Shreks. Um, they're definitely not for anti-tank rifles, but the Germans didn't use anti-tank rifles um, near as much. I mean, I don't even know if they used them at all. Like, they're 
their method of anti-tank stuff you know was the panzer shrek the panzer faust shaped charges fired out out of you know infantry basically now would we ever get infantry in war thunder i surely hope so that would be awesome but overall this is a solid tank and it is a premium so it's coming in at a battle rating of 5.3 compare that to the t3485 same battle ranking the only real difference is those five millimeter screens yeah, you've got the same gun and everything, but it is premium, and this is an amazing tank and an amazing gun. So, I think it's a pretty decent option if you're looking to do that grind or you just want something to really bring in the cash. But anyway, let's check it out in another battle. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so back in the T-3485E, just look at this bad boy at speed, running around. Those screens definitely are uh, rather unique if only there were some infantry hiding out there some German infantry you know with Panzerfaust just waiting in these bushes waiting for me to drive along one of you guys even sitting there like oh there's Baron in a T-3485 I'd love to shoot my Panzerfaust at him but then it hits my screen and you don't knock me out like you thought you did and I turn and I go tat 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 wouldn't that be amazing? You know what? If you want you want to see infantry in this game, and who doesn't, leave a like to let me know. <laughs> Shells being fired. That's definitely what that is. Slight changes. Hostile team is capturing B. I think someone's just not very accurate. So we have to ascertain where those shells are coming from. So that we can return fire. But luckily we, we're very fast and mobile. So I kind of want to hide behind this tree. Maybe even in the shadow. I feel like the shadow would actually be better. Maybe. Oh shit. Where'd that come from? Did they cross the river guys? I can't. Zone captured. We gotta go. We've hit, we've taken two shots. Now I've really got to find out where they are. Not seeing, oh, there we go. Oh, the loader got taken out. The cannon just got taken out. What is that over there? I think it's a M10. No, it can't be an M10. How long is the repair? 14 seconds? I don't know if we're going to be alive this long, but artillery is incoming. He's moving up. This could be the finishing shot. Looks like a Hellcat. Yep. Oh gosh. Two seconds. Pivot! Ha! Oh my gosh, guys. How are we alive right now? That guy's probably like, you f in what? He had a really good spot. It took me a while to figure out where he was. What the shit? Another Hellcat. Tell you what, man. Our armor is really kind of saving the day right now. He's smoking. We could fire some machine guns, but... Oh. The Hellcat Killer, ladies and gentlemen. That's the name of this bad boy. So, Hellcats were a huge, huge threat. What is up? I mean, we've got one penetration. Look at that. Right to the left of the turret, it bounced. Oh, my. Oh, there goes a the tree. I was trying to figure out. I think only one penetrated. The other two bounced. Because I'm only seeing one right now. Let's just take a quick look. Hopefully, we can get away with this without getting killed. Yeah, look. Right um, on the inside of that turret... To the left side, right near the mantlet there. And then right there in the center. That was a very accurate shot. I mean, I thought that's why we're alive. Only one penetrated through. And it looks like we lost one crew member. So he probably had some 
high penetrating rounds with you know less fragmentation hostile teams capturing a that's way far away from us I just kinda wanna get out of there man just Hellcat City over there there's two Hellcats again wait 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 is that what I think it is or is that a bush tell you what man these bushes and trees at distance if you look right there kinda looks like it could be a tank man I'm freaking out man I'm freaking out they're hiding everywhere alright Oh, explosions going up over there yeah, we should be kinda gotta look both ways man gotta look both ways so there was an explosion now was that someone getting killed I wasn't looking at the kill feed oh yeah there's definitely something going on right over there shots fired he's right on the oh I can barely see him uh looks like I see I could fire from here and reveal my position or I could take note of the fact that he's not shooting at me so I can probably move up and get a f better firing solution on him now hopefully there's no one over there and I'm just gonna be able to sneak up um, to the other side of this ridge put a shell in him B25J destroyed a KV-85 hats off to you sir especially if you did it with the gun but we're probably gonna get a nice flanking shot looks like we just had air support fly over <laughs> air supports having a bit of an issue right here alright so B25J shot down shot down the Lavochkin? oh I guess he got lit on fire right? oh he's moving we have a firing solution look at this oh not yet I'm gonna wait see this is one of those gambles right? now that boom right through the side of the turret M4A2 knocked out knock him out the box Luke knock him out some people have not seen the Star Wars gangster rap but you know what I've only got one thing to say to you to all you Vader haters out there we'll blow your planet up look at that guy getting wrecked can you imagine the chaos of a real battle like tanks you can't really tell you know definitively if they're knocked out or not unless it's visually obvious but you know there's some cases where it could be an abandoned tank right we're kinda just way out here right now planes flying overhead thought I heard a plane yep that's a plane oh wow we're just driving straight to the cap or the uh, spawn that's not good and we've got two capture points. It's basically just me on this flank. Holding it down. Is that a tank? <gasps> it's a tank. Poor guy. Oh, poor gun depression. We gotta reorient ourselves so our armor's up. Because he's got two 40s. Use the machine guns. Oh, shit. Dude, this could be bad. We, we needed a... Uh, hmm... I think it's right there. 31 seconds. We're not going to be able to survive this. Artillery hit, though. And he's weak. He's coming around for the flank. Oh, the artillery shell. Please, 20 seconds. Oh, it's not going to work. Oh, no. Oh, no. We had it, but then the gun depression. Repair reloading will start. What do you mean? I'm, I'm supposed to be fixed here. Oh, man. Twin... Motor gun carriage, M19, got its revenge. And we lost Charlie, because I pushed up a little too much. But you know what? We could take a little plane out and rocket him, but that could also fail pretty badly. And we've got 540 left. Spawn points, 1564, we got a lot. All right, well, I guess we get a refight for Charlie here, so that should be a lot of fun three kills 
prior to getting wiped out, man. It's kind of a, <laughs> a funny way to die when you're like, oh, look at this easy little flack. Look at that, what is that? Anyway, moving up to Charlie here. So I wonder what took it, because it was... They must have moved all the way around me. But if we can see them... Oh, the sun's kind of in my face right now. And we've got this weird hill to where gun depression will probably be an issue, so I'm going to maneuver over to the flatter terrain. And all this tree line, man, with the sun behind them, they could hide literally everywhere. So do we see anything? Because I'm just out in the open right now. What was that? You see that over there? Just a random explosion. Hmm. As the plot thickens, it gives me the dickens. Reminiscent of Charles in the Disco Tex of Atlanta, Georgia. Where are you hiding? Alright, so I got a T3045. I'm gonna push up. It could be one of those Hellcats, and then he might be kind of in that spot he was earlier. But that guy will likely attract fire. We're losing. Hey, man, this is. If I see any shots fired. What was that? Okay, we got three T-34s. Someone called an artillery on Charlie. So did they cap and move out? Or are they flanking? Or are they on the flank of the my left right now? I'm not seeing any tanks. Oh, here we go. What is that? Critical hit. Oh, it's a little flak truck. Didn't knock him out yet. He's smoking. I think he just pulled away. We gotta get over there. Finish him off. M19? What is shooting at that T-34? Ground unit destroyed, alright. It was an M15, so he did have the cannon. I think that... Oh, there, there we go. Oh, you're revealing your position like that, friend. Oh, just off. No. Come on. Let's finish the job here. Unless he's dead. He's not firing at all. I'm pretty sure one of those hit. He's gotta be dead. Yeah, he just disappeared. I was like, that one, I think it was like the third or fourth shot had to have killed it. Alright, so let's see. What's the overall score? Kind of get a feel. We're at four kills. We got we got five, four, four. They got four, three, two, two, three. So the majority of the kills, I think. The majority of the kills are held by myself and these two compatriots. Let's see. Selena. Oh, God. That's B25. Yes, right, mate. You full and what? On the move. Missed. It's worth a try. We gotta get in uh, some trees here. We gotta capture. What's shooting? What the hell is that? Is that the plane? Is he back? Oh, God. P 51. It's a slaughter. Oh, he's coming back around. I see you, friend. Don't think I don't. This is gonna be a standoff, man. Oh, it's an ambush. This isn't looking good. Where are those? Oh, I thought those were bombs. 
What's shooting me? Is it that? It is. Oh my gosh. This, this. Oh, that's the P-51. Please don't drop a bomb. Track damage, suspension damage. We found where the enemy is. Oh, finally someone contested, eh? Tits! How'd that guy shoot me when the T-34 is right there? Oh, it's an M6. Alright. Critical hit. Let's just hope they don't have bombs, because someone is strafing me. Oh, shit. We don't have artillery yet. I need that. I need my T-34 to help me out. Look at this. What is this happening? Oh my gosh. This is a sturdy mother trucker though. Please shoot him. I can't move at all. This has got to be a killing blow. Oh, no way. No way, teammate! What are you doing, man? They're right there! Look at that! You even saw it! Here, Here's the final blow. Right through the strong point, the 75 millimeters, too. Mr. Big Bang. We're jumping around. They got air support. Well, now I've got a T-26. You know what? We're gonna take this guy out. Oh, we can't... Got no rockets? Oh, that's shit. We're gonna take it out anyway. We gotta contribute. I'm gonna fly over there, and I'm gonna shoot them down. This is just, this is kind of funny actually. Airpoint. Don't worry guys. We will get our vengeance. Where's Charlie? Over there. That's where the fight was happening. No whip. This thing's stock is junk. IL-2's flying around. I'm pretty sure there was the B-25 still up. We're gonna lose this one. I wonder if I could land and take a capture point. That is something... Oh, there's a plane. Alright, that, that's the B-25 flying around. And it looks like the IL-2's got three enemy fighters around it. He just got shot down by a Hellcat. So this could be a nice little interesting dogfight, or we could just get raffle stumped. I think in this case we need to dive down. We're just silhouetted as tits right now. Or I could try to cap. I don't know if it's possible, but I kind of want to do that. There we go. There's something flying around. I don't think we're going to get to the cap in time. Hostile team is capping C now, too. So hopefully I can get close enough to shoot somebody. In time. Flying away from me. Here we go. Look at this B-25. Just shredding him. Oh shoot, anti-aircraft fire. That ain't good. Oh my gosh, the 50s are so real right now. Pew pew pew! <laughs> we would have won the war, man. And we would have capped it. That's what would have happened in another life. Ladies and gentlemen, the T-3485E, which I'm going to name the Hellcat Killer. That was pretty fun. Although we were on the losing side that time. Kursk is just crazy. That was that was pretty nuts. That was pretty nuts. Did the best we could. Just wasn't good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the T-3485. Let me know which tank you want me to drive out next. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. And please, please, please share the video with a friend. And stay posted because I will be seeing you guys soon.